Dr. Lance Kutsir. I'm a urologist with a special interest in uro-oncology and specifically in uh, uh, robotic surgery, which we've been doing in South Africa since uh, October 2013. Um, and this has, to a large extent around the world, revolutionized the, uh, the treatment of early uh, prostate cancer. Uh, and uh, we obviously, being orientated in that direction, see a lot of patients with, uh, with prostate cancer and we're very uh, close to uh, a lot of the uh, major cancer centers around the world today and uh, follow the, the guidelines that are uh, uh, put forward by both the European uh, as well as the American Neurologic Associations. And we've adapted these guidelines uh, to the South African scenario. Well, that depends on whether there's a family history or not. If there's a family history, we usually say from age 40. If there's no family history, um, the South African guidelines um, have stated that from age 45, uh, we should start uh, checking, and that check involves both uh, physical exam and the PSA blood test. If the PSA blood test is below 0 0.7 nanograms per milliliter, we can then check every second year until the age of 50. And after that, then on an annual basis. If you just do the blood test, you will miss about 25% of prostate cancers. If you just do the physical test, you miss about 50%. The blood test's value really is uh, in doing uh, regular checks and building a profile for the patient. Uh, if you just do random blood tests, uh, it is of very little value in making the diagnosis. And this is where PSA has been maligned in the past as an unreliable marker. PSA is actually a very reliable marker, but it is used incorrectly. So the uh, the recommendation today is that you have both a physical exam and the blood test once a year if you fall into the target age group. And that way um, one won't or shouldn't miss any prostate cancers. Prostate cancer in the early stage has no symptoms. Um, by the time you develop symptoms, uh, the condition can be too far advanced. So the presence or absence of symptoms are of no value whatsoever. Um, also, the main symptoms that men develop of difficulty passing urine, uh, increased frequency of urinating are usually as a result of aging enlargement of the prostate and not prostate cancer. So if we're looking for prostate cancer, um, then one should be checked according to age group and not symptoms. That is an absolute myth, and that comes from a single study that was done uh, in the 1960s where post-mortems were done on octogenarians dying from all causes, um, uh, men obviously, and it was found that they had small foci of prostate cancer, um, and the wrong extrapolation was made from that, that most men will get prostate cancer but die from other causes. Um, those, that is a very different prostate cancer to the clinically significant prostate cancers. Um, and obviously prostate cancer is not a single disease. It has varying levels of aggressiveness. Uh, the prostate cancer that young men get is very often uh, an, an aggressive prostate cancer and uh, the chance of outliving that um, is, is small if it's not managed properly. The, the options, um, depending on, on uh, age, obviously, if you have a life expectancy of more than 10 years, then the recommendations are that, and you're otherwise healthy, of course, the recommendations are that this is managed actively. Um, the most common 
treatment around the world today uh, with the new technology is to remove the prostate with the new robotic technology which can preserve your quality of life functions such as urine control, potency control, while also giving you the best chance of curing the cancer but also not damaging the surrounding tissue and uh, leaving the option open that if anything should start recurring again that one still has the safety net of a, a low-dose radiation. Um, and this is what has made it attractive uh, today um, and also gives us the option um, if you are successfully managed with robotic surgery your PSA should drop to zero. So you have a very effective marker that allows us to to follow you up and check and, and see. Uh, the other options are radiation therapy. The external beam radiation is uh, not practiced that often uh, any, anymore. Brachytherapy is in some areas uh, quite a popular uh, treatment. But the problem with that is that a lot of the cancers, especially the more aggressive cancers, do recur. And if it recurs, then you are pretty much painted into a corner in terms of uh, further management. We've done just over a thousand uh, robotic radical prostatectomies now. Um, we did the first one in October 2013 and uh, passed the thousand mark in December of 2020. Yeah. The op itself now, we very seldom take more than an hour and a half, uh, usually less than that. Um, it is usually not a very painful operation because no muscles are cut through, you don't have large incisions. Um, so the, uh, the recovery rate is very quick. You also don't have uh, much blood loss, uh, so you don't go to ICUs, you don't have blood transfusions, um, and you're usually out of hospital within 36 hours, 36 to 48 hours maximum. Well, we've had uh, some of our patients back at work within 10 days. Now, that's not what we recommend. Yeah. But it, it is possible um, and, uh, the, you know, the, the guys who've done that haven't uh, picked up any problems. We usually recommend uh, two to three weeks, but uh, you very quickly uh, get to a point where if you're working uh, remotely or on laptops and so on, uh, you know, within a couple of days you can, you can do that. It's just, you know, if you have a physical job and you're driving in rush hour traffic and so on, that we recommend you just give yourself a bit more time. We have a lot of patients on active surveillance or, or uh, a, a hybrid of active surveillance and watchful waiting. Um, but these are usually elderly patients with low-grade cancers that, uh, where we feel that uh, the chance of them uh, developing significant problems from the cancer are relatively small. Or patients that have significant other medical issues or comorbidities Basically, if the life expectancy is longer than 10 years and the patient is otherwise healthy, that one uh, would recommend active treatment. If the cancer is caught at a stage where it's still what we call organ confined, uh, the cure rate is well over 90% uh, with, uh, with the removal, with the robotic radical prostatectomy. Um, and if you happen to fall into the other 10%, then uh, you still have the option, if the PSA starts elevating, of salvaging that, that group as well. Um, we follow patients for five years afterwards with PSAs, and after five years we, uh, we talk of 100% cure, provided the PSA remains undetectable. Mm -hmm.